My name is Riley, I'm with Follick. Today we're going to be working on a uh, Follett Horizon uh, Elite 2110. We got some uh, service in the rear of the machine. Uh, first thing we want to do is go ahead and turn your unit on and we're going to hit the clean and what that's going to do is it's going to drain all the water out of the, of the machine and then we're going to wait until we have a low water light and then we can go ahead and pull that valve apart and inspect or clean it. Okay, now that our low water light is turned on, we can shut the power off. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to have to take these two uh, refrigeration quick connects off. Uh, during the removal of these quick connects, you're not going to lose any refrigerant. You can do it with uh, the system uh, completely charged. We're going to be disconnecting the transport tube. And a tipping hazard, we're going to take the gear motor off the unit so that it's not front heavy, so that when we work on the things in the rear, uh, it's not going to want to tip forward and fall off your wall mount bracket uh, or your bin. Two screws, 3 16 Allen head to remove the locking hardware from the front of the gear motor. We're prying forward the, the auger to remove uh, the fork which holds the uh, auger forward. Remove the Phillips head screw on the side of the gear motor that holds the ground wire in place. Put the screw back in place so you don't lose it. Now we're removing the, disconnecting the two wires that go to the gear motor. Going to remove the two 916 hex head bolts that hold the gear motor in place. When pulling your gear motor off, be be cautious not to lose your wood drift key. Now we can pull our machine forward so that we have access to the items in the rear of the machine. We're removing the reservoir lid. Next we're going to remove the insulation on the rear of, of the reservoir. Next, we're removing the clean cup line and the drain line for the shuttle assembly. Now we'll be removing the three stainless steel screws, Phillips head screws that hold the reservoir to the rear bushing. Now we're going to slide the reservoir off of the bushing housing and then we're going to wiggle our our tube that's connected to the purge valve. We're going to wrestle that off and then we can move this reservoir out of our way. We're going to remove the insulation that goes on the front of the reservoir and covers the bushing housing and we're going to set that aside. Now I'm going to remove the screw that holds the purge valve onto the bushing housing. And now we can remove our bushing housing. When we put our bushing housing back on, what we're going to do is we're going to lubricate this O-ring with our Petrogel all the way around. We're going to slide the insulation back on the bushing. And then we're going to push in and seat the, seat the O-ring against the evaporator. Then again, we're going to put Petrogel all the way around our O-ring to make sure that it seats in correctly. We're going to reseat the water reservoir. Then reinstall your three stainless steel Phillips head screws into the back of the reservoir. Then we're going to reinstall the purge valve. First we have to get the tube for the reservoir. So 
So we have one screw and then we also have a tab on the bushing housing to keep that purge valve level. If you're still looking for your screw, it was probably captured in the finger strap of the vent line. Now we're reinstalling the insulation on the back of the reservoir. And we reinstall our water probes at the top of the reservoir. And we're going to put our four stainless steel screws back in place. Install the clean cup hose back in the water reservoir. And then your drain line from your shuttle assembly. We're going to put petrogel on our barb fitting for our, our tubing to slide into. There's a bell end where it slides over this hose barb, which connects your drain. Now we're ready to push the machine back in place. When the machine is seated all the way back into the louver docking station, this metal tab and the black base should be flush right here. We're gonna put the gear motor back on. First thing we're gonna do is put some petro gel here so that the auger shaft doesn't adhere to the gear motor. We're gonna lift up and put our gear motor back on the auger shaft. And we're gonna secure it with our two bolts. Flying slightly forward on the, on the auger shaft, you can use a half inch wrench to locate the keyway. We're going to put a little bit of petro gel on our woodruff key, then we're going to slide that in place. You're going to slide the auger slightly forward so your fork slides in. You're going to line up that notch with the screw hole. Now we're going to install the two stainless steel bolts that pull that port. Reconnect your gear motor wires, black to black, white to white. Reconnect the ice transport tube to the louver docking station. Slide the gear motor insulation back in place. We're going to reconnect the refrigeration lines with the quick disconnect. We're going to add a dab of oil to the threads. Now we're going to connect the liquid line. We're going to add a little bit of oil onto the threads of the quick disconnect. For the liquid line, you're going to have to use a backing wrench. And you're going to tighten this up. Now we're going to turn the machine on. What we're going to do is then let this go through its purge cycle, make sure that we don't have any leaks either on our drain fitting in the back there or anywhere in the machine. 